Hello everyone! Welcome to Cook Me Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the IP API API to find information about IP addresses. So, if I go over here to Firefox and I paste in this random IP address and press that button, as you can see, it's from Istanbul. And you can find a bunch of other information like estimated coordinates and stuff, but I'm too lazy to add that but I'll put a link in the description to the documentation so you can see. You can get all that stuff. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Alright, so to get started, you're going to need to have the link to jQuery copied. I'll put it in the description. Pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. I'm going to start, of course, with a doctype tag. Doctype HTML. Whoa, what was that? Okay, that was weird. I don't know why my text editor just did that. I'd never seen it do that before. Next, we're going to make a script tag. Script src equals open quotes. And here, you're going to paste in the link to jQuery. There it is. And now, close the script tag. Like that. Okay. Now, you're going to need to make an input, a button, and a div. So, input id equals, open quotes, in, close quotes, button, you don't need to give this one an id, but you do need to give it an onclick event. So, onclick equals, find ip, open parentheses, close parentheses, or whatever you want to call your function doesn't have to be find IP. And inside the button, we're just going to put find IP, exclamation mark, and close the button tag. Great. Now, make a div tag. And inside that div, don't put anything. Now close it. Now, go back and give the div an ID. ID equals, open quotes, out, or whatever you want to call it. This way you have in and out. Okay, great. Now, open a script tag. And inside it, guess what? We're making a function. Function, find IP, open parentheses, close parentheses, because that's what we called it up here. If you called it something else, then you're going to put the name of it there. Open curly braces. And now, dollar sign dot get because we're using jQuery. Open parentheses, open quotes, https colon slash slash ipapi.co slash close quotes plus document dot get element with a capital E by with a capital B ID with a capital I open quotes in, close quotes, close parentheses, dot value. This is going to get whatever is typed into here. And that's useful to us because that's the IP address we want to find information about. Plus, close quotes, I mean open quotes, slash JSON, because that's the format we want. Great. Comma, function, open parentheses, data data is the variable which we are we are using to store the data open curly braces and inside it simply put document dot get element with a capital E by with a capital B ID with a capital I open parentheses open quotes out close quotes close parentheses dot inner HTML with a capital H T M N L equals, open quotes, IP, colon, space, close quotes, plus data, dot IP, plus, open quotes, line break, BR, location, with a capital L, you don't have to capitalize it if you don't want, space, close quotes, Ooh, actually I want to put a colon there, you don't have to if you don't want to either. 
plus data dot city plus open quotes comma space close quotes plus data dot region plus open quotes comma space close quotes plus data dot country underscore name there's also data dot country but that'll give you it abbreviated it won't give you the actual name of the country so we're not doing that plus open quotes under the line break br tld for top level domain always something useful to know space close quotes plus data dot country underscore tld and now the api does offer other things that you can put in here such as estimated coordinates but i don't feel like doing it however i will put a link in the description which shows the default output which you can look through and it'll just be like this thing colon and then whatever it is so you can do data dot whatever is in those quotes and that's it so put a semicolon at the end now close curly braces close parentheses and close curly braces again and close that script tag great now save this file I'm gonna call it ipapi.html and I'm not gonna save it in my documents I'm gonna save it to my desktop save great now pop open whatever browser you prefer to use which of course should be Firefox but if it isn't whatever scoot that smaller now find the file on your computer and ignore that disaster and now here we go I'm gonna type in a random IP address hopefully it's a real address one seven two dot three three eight dot nine dot thirty two let's try that find IP undefined 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 and undefined so that's not a real IP address whoa that was weird okay so that's not a real address let's try a different address let's try two three eight aha this one's in New Jersey okay so as you can see, it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember where you left it.